all right welcome 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 all uh, welcome to our uh, session 3 of autism uh, awareness uh, session series and uh, this is a very special and unique uh, series where we discuss multiple areas where uh, autism adhd hyperactivity siddha femtom at uh, perspective Uh, it's a six weeks uh, free workshop series, and we have Dr. Shan. Uh, uh, he's a Harvard-trained uh, scientist and health coach who comes with a uh, uh, in-depth experience, uh, whether it's from uh, the ancient uh, methods uh, like uh, Marma Siddha uh, and, and the Siddha Veda is, uh, you know, his. Uh, <clears throat> uh multiversity basically it's a international organization which is committing itself uh, to make a great uh, bridge between uh i'm just muting you know those who are not talking thank you um yeah so ma making a great you know being a bridge between the ancient uh, uh traditions ancient uh, values ancient uh, um uh, systems you know which uh, which is the solution for the modern problems and also uh, look, without uh, ignoring the modern solutions for the uh, age old uh, challenges yeah and um, yeah, uh, you know dr shan and the uh, you know, team has been doing amazing uh, contribution uh, across the world and uh, he has uh, full heartedly agreed uh, and come forward you know to support our community and uh, this is uh, part of our us wide uh, uh, the autism care uh, especially for the parents and uh, parents and caregivers and it's a it's a growing team uh, which has the uh, very very wider uh, reach across the country and in fact uh, we do have you know people even from canada or even from you know mexico north america across and uh, there are also folks you know who are attending from india as well so uh, times and we do have a lot of you know resource sharing a lot of uh, support uh, uh, creating a mutual support uh, you know, network the resources whether it is um, uh, you know especially you know connecting the uh, parents and things so especially in uh, washington dc maryland virginia area there is also you know parents who meet very uh, regularly and um, supporting each other and uh, um having the uh, you know some play time with the kids and the picnics and things so we have done you know several uh, workshops in the past um and uh, in the library local library or uh, we did you know various other uh, virtual workshops and things so with that series like you know the, dr shan is going to conduct the session 3 uh, today so we had one uh, amazing uh, introductory session those you know who missed the last two sessions you know we'll post the recorded link here please make sure that uh, you know you take some time you know to go to understand um actualize basically you know internalize um and then you know start um, implementing those and uh, uh, in this uh, session 3 also we are so looking forward to what and uh, dr san is going to share feel free to just be ready with your journal and uh, uh, start taking notes and uh, start seeing that you know what is uh, uh, what you can really apply in real life and we'll also make it in as interactive as possible including the q and a um yeah so with that without you uh, know further uh, delay you know would like to welcome back our dr shan laxmanan uh, yes dr shan over to you thank you thank you mr magendran for the introduction and um, welcome all of you to the autism this is uh, your the third class on um, autism adhd hyperactivity hope uh, everybody i gave you some homework how many of you did your homework raise your hands and how many of you did not try at all so let's see uh, like so did not want to you know we were busy in your own world and then you're seeing next week what i can do you know we'll just go and attend how many of you in that mode how many of you started to implement seriously what i told you last week even 
50 percent in percent can can you all raise your hands um and also can you share your uh, thing in the chat button you can write down you know a few points what you did so just raise your hands who who did practice whoever practice raise your hands okay and you one by one you can mute whoever raised first say uh, kalaramya can you tell uh okay so i i first i i want everyone to raise your hands now like um the ones who did it okay then then we'll give a chance to the okay now raise your hands who did not do anything okay so people who did not do anything can you raise your hands others will uh, raise you know put down your hand you know whoever did put down your hand now whoever did not do anything did not take any steps can you raise your hands maybe some people are new whoever is new you can just type i'm new so there is only people who did something and people who did not do something who are the rest of the people here so i was wondering what where do we categorize them the rest of you who did not raise your hands so do you want to be on one side or the other so you know what is the problem i think this is the problem see now you identify the problem the problem um um so homemade junk okay so some comments be completely eliminated milk okay kumar is new sudha is new suddu 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 is new mostly ka homemade food tried monica says tried limited any processing food we added multigrain for dosa making almond milk removed okay uh, almond milk almond being removed okay well mostly joke made um, maybe it's a i misspelled it okay mostly homemade food fennel included okay milk stopped chapati stopped okay nice so you did some progress so everybody did some progress so you your your um, on the track so because you know the taking chia seeds okay good see because if you do not do anything it won't be interesting for me i mean see this is not for um just listening to me and then you know you being in your own uh, domain of uh, doing nothing so the more you do i will be more happy to really give you more information i be you know adding more serious information that will be very useful for you okay okay so i want all of you to really really practice this if you really practice what i am telling you going to make very big impact on your kids if there are there will be practical challenges only when you start doing this uh if you think this already there are uh, you know 
you're already um, uh, wanted to do that, but maybe, you know, I didn't try, then you won't know what kind of, uh, you know, difficulty you will have later on. It's, it's difficult to catch all these things. You will forget what I told you. So the moment you have to make this a uh, memory, it's more or like a physical memory. Every week, whatever I give, uh, you start to work on it and then add more and more. And that's how the whole thing may work. So that's why I call it as the compound model. So this is not a linear model. Linear model will not work. Linear model means reductionism. Trying to identify what is the root cause of the problem will not be solved because there is no one root cause for this problem or for any so, any problem for the tree. Touch the line properly. It should be properly. Can we mute, please? Jaya, could you please mute? Mute. Okay. So you. <clears throat> So there is, uh, so this model that we are working on is called the compound model. What's a compound model? Have you known, what do you know about uh, locust? You know, there is a insect. It has something called the compound eye. So we are all having uh, simple eyes. Simple eyes, you know, like uh, we can see only up and down you know, maybe three dimensional in, uh, in forward, you know, for if we don't see backside things. We don't see it at a 360 degree. Our eyes are limited. I think that's called om omatida, O-M-A-T-I-D-A. Okay, the locust, the compound eye. They can break the eyes are small, small, small. They break and they can see, you know, smaller parts are there. So that's why it's called compound. And they can see people uh, or anybody at the back. So the looking three at 360 degree is also a derived component from, from animals. We have that kind of capability to look at 360 degrees called Mukkala Nyanam. Three, Thirigala Nyanam. We can say Thirigala Nyanam. Okay. So, um, Thirigala Jnana means there are, uh, we have the, uh, our past experience, present circumstances and future consequences we'll be able to calculate at a very fast rate, you know, and uh, take steps accordingly. So now, so we have, uh, they're going to a little bit of detail about what this uh, kind of uh, spectrum is, be it uh, autism or ADHD or hyperactivity. They all are come under one kind of a category called a, a disorder. It's a Vata disorder. Vata, I told you. Vadam is a Vali. Pitta is Adal and uh, Kava is I am. So Vata Pitta Kava. I will uh, actually maybe I can Let's see if I can share. From my conference. So I'm here at a conference in California. So this is one of the conference in Colorado. I we long time back it was published. It's too small. So So this is a paper that we published in a 
in this um, poster presented in in the American Geophysical Union, Union AGU. And, uh, so the it's called the planet Earth, humans, gravity, and the connection with natural medicines. Essence from a 5,000 years old ancient pedagogy. Pedagogy. So we have um, from this. So what is really um, if you look at what is our body made up of? So our body is made up of like these five states of matter states of matter so one of the states of matter is this solid so so the solid is usually referred to as earth okay outside the solid could be hard material it could be the earth the the soil part the rocks the wood outside the mountains, all, all the things that are very hard, solid. Anything in this planet which are solid is called earth. Okay. Translation. So in our body, we have earth element, which is solid element. The solid make our prayer bone, flesh, and tiny little tubes. It's called the Nadi system. Nadi are Tiny, teeny, tiny tubes. There are 72,000 such tubes. And this is called the advanced femtobiology. So in these tubes, what do they, how does it work? So for example, you have a, you have a stomach. How are these tubes connected to a stomach, for example? So all the, around the stomach, you will have tiny tubes attached it's like a stomach is say it's like a ball and then say around it you will have the pipes connected different channels connected so this we call the vatanadi pitanadi tabanadi like channels okay vata vata is has to do with the air and ether pita the pitanadi has to do with the fire flow. Okay, so there will be air flow. And let's not go for ether yet. I will tell you. So air flow, then the heat flow, and then the liquid flow. So these three flows will be there in the through the nadis. And along with this, energy will flow. So they are part, the energy can flow in all of this, but whenever something blocks one of these, the air or the uh, liquid anywhere, you know, there is a blockage, then the energy in that area will be blocked. Okay. So these four elements are called mostly physical body. That is earth heat fire air and liquid water so the ether is in our body is called the astral body so there is a physical body and the ether is called an astral body and this ether ether and what is the astral body astral body are very tiny tiny energy particles they are far away and they do not um, form the atomic structure whereas uh, air for example helium is a two electron system so the energy particles are closest and one will rotate around the other it forms atomic structure so ether doesn't have an atomic structure they are independent energy particles so these energy particles form a layer of body called the astral body in, in tamil uh, is called sukuma sariram uh, okay sukuma is also in sanskrit also it's called the sukuma sharira and then the causal body gandham 
காந்த உடல் காசல் பாடி இஸ் தி மேக்னெட்டிக் பாடி வென் எனர்ஜி பார்ட்டிகல்ஸ் ரொட்டேட் தே ஃபார்ம் டிரான்ஸ்ஃபர்மேஷன்ஸ் இஸ் டிரான்ஸ்ஃபர்மேஷன்ஸ் in the solid when they are rotating the energy particles they transform into the taste and uh, sorry uh, smell and in the liquid they transform into taste and the fire it transforms into light see you know, light and heat and light air transformed into sound and ether transformed into what is called the touch okay so this this transformation body is very subtler than the astral body and that transformed body is called the causal body or the biomagnetic body ganda udal karana sharira karana shariram okay karana shariram so there is a physical body sthula sharira there is a astral body sukuma sharira and a causal body karana sharira so this based on this the energy particles for when we are born so our parents give us the ratio of these energy particles the mother and father they will distribute these their combination for example your mother has more earth component and fire component and your dad has more only air component then you will have a combination it will be your kids will be a combination of the air component mixed with fire or air component mixed with the earth and water so that uh, depending on which one is dominant in them one of them either the earth and water or the fire or the air and ether will be more and for example a person can have 40 uh, percent of earth component and then they can have 38 percentage of fire component and then 22 percentage of air and ether component so this body we can call it as vada pitta so they are close see the 40 compared to 20 38 is not that far away so that means they can have a close body type but they are called vada pitta type i mean kapha pitta type okay if there is more earth component 40% pitta <laughs> and fire so kapha pitta okay so the this two percentage can be affected so this is called prakruti a person will have particular body type you know when they are born which they picked from their parents is called the prakruti this will not change okay so whatever they picked from the beginning that will remain the same but what could change is the something called the vikruti vikruti means that a say for example the fire somebody ate a lot of spice and it increased the fire in our body so what happened the instead of 38 now i have like almost 41 and i started to behave like a fire body type then earth body type my earth was only 40 and then the fire was 41 because of the external factor that influenced me therefore i started to behave like a kaba kaba pitta pitta kaba instead of a kaba pitta i have now i become a pitta kaba type so this is called the vikruti external factors or uh, epigenetics changing this so 
now a the odd thing is that air and ether so that is the lesser part so people who have uh, this body type they may be prompted to get the um, what do you call the dosha dosha means vata dosha pitta dosha tapa dosha so if you are a earth type you know when you're born earth and water type the most likely you will have a kaba disorder okay most likely because your nature is that it doesn't mean you will not have other disorders but mainly mostly you will have this and similarly with the fire and air and ether also so not necessarily um you know everybody uh will have the same kind of um you know combinations and um uh, if for example uh, the air and ether uh, if it is uh, more you tend to behave like the you know that's the called the water disorder so mostly this thing that we are talking about is a vata disorder the problems that means mostly somebody in the family the father or mother might have a vata disorder not only maybe they have, might have a vata body not necessarily a vata body but there is likelihood that they may be vata component you know they have a vata disorder and therefore you may um you know behave like a air so let us look at the psychology so this is the physical aspect of the distribution of energy particles accordingly we have say earth and water type body physical body type they will be like uh, very stubby uh, little bulky you know so they might uh, obesity one of the disorders in this case and um, and then we have uh, the fire component that is they have uh, uh, you know physical body is medium built but they are very sharp and uh, they may have stomach related gastro um uh, problems because of the the fire component uh, you know mostly you know and the air and ether this component air plus ether component that is called the um vata disorder so vata disorder might be they are very thin people and they might have uh, you know problem in uh, say isolation musculoskeletal problems constipation so these are some of the vata disorders so the disorders have been explained physically and mentally for all the body types okay so if you look at the psychological component the earth and water people very difficult to change they are very stubborn uh there's more into the dark side uh, you know it's very difficult because change is uh, difficult for them as so the solids are not very flexible solid or water you know not very flexible a fire is a very sharp you know, their psychology will be almost heated up anger uh you know jealousy all these things uh, but the, there is a, a good part bad part for all of this so we'll talk, talk about the bad part the air they are very isolated they get lost uh air gets go into a gets into a desert and then they get lost and um uh not grounded properly air is distracted distracted means um, how we can relate to our psychology um for example if you look at uh, 
the parent um, one of the parent will be uh, you ask them to go to a shop uh, and say you go to target and buy something so they have to they don't just go and buy one part they will be looking at something else they will take that they get distracted they will go to another shop you know and then around that this will be one of the thing they will do from target so they'll be doing number of things instead of doing going and straightforward taking this if you plan to go for a friend's uh, party or something like that a pitta type will be very prepared okay they are only focused on that party nothing else should come interfere but a vata type they will be flexible why don't we go here and finish this and go and till the last minute they will be doing some work and they will integrate many things they wanted to um you know uh, uh, integrate as many things as possible within that given time and often they become they are late not going on time right so that is the nature of this this psychology so the um so if you look at the vata table uh if you compare with a uh, vata pitta kapha if you look at the table where they are sitting the kapha type will never change anything there any whatever 10 years back the thing the room will be the same there you know uh, a pitta type will keep everything very clean they get angry even if a small thing moves from the table why is this they they cannot uh, stand that and a kapha type i mean a vata type will have everything messy whatever they try again the table is going to get mess again your kitchen is going to be messy you will not keep the thing in the same place if you take something sugar from this el sugar will be in some other place sugar will be this area like that this uh, the change okay and everything will come from the vata disorder so this component is with all of us so it's not a new psychology that we are looking at there's no need for any new thing to learn in this this is a very uh, a universal psychology okay very fundamental and universal psychology okay so these axioms are very important to understand how our ancient science you don't you cannot understand this kind of science with modern uh, psychology modern psychology is very limited with axioms and it's uh, it's not very developed well there are good components framework is very good but they, it's not like some things may be useful but overall is not going to answer this question so you have to shift to this kind of it's called a paradigm shift axiomatic shift so first of all for science to be something you should have a logic so these logics are based on our ancient knowledge not from the western knowledge so you need to accept this as a full science so you need to um this called the axiomatic shift okay this kind of things are not known by education departments or anything in india it's very very difficult they are now only developing into modern world they want to know all what is in the modern but in the west people started to understand these things you know they are integrating now and it is happening sorry <clears throat> you know slowly so here if you look at the the kind of things and solutions so first thing what are the food we are eating i told you some elimination diet last week okay what food you should be avoiding so same way uh, we can think about what food um everybody kindly mute please <clears throat> what food can be uh, avoided if you have a vata disorder so let's say vata disorder means that the they are lost that is the main thing they are lost in their own space so you talk to them immediately some are little i told you pitta vata type 
kind of sun you can have all the kind of different body types but their vata component not necessarily they have to be a uh, vata person uh, having the same because they could be in all the vata pitta kava type and still you can have a vata disorder remember that the disorder has to do with that component but overall uh, one of the parent might be a vata type is more likely there is a chance that one of the person parent may have a vata and they might have a disorder like this um so your your kid is not new you know he didn't come from the <clears throat> out of the bloom or you know from the sky or something like that the kid comes from our own karmas whatever we made so look at what is what that is or whatever is haste decision making haste you wanted to go fast you know speed and without thinking doing things and keeping a lot of things uh, you know uh, in the in the in the table doing a lot of activities all these things are vata disorders so look at what you did when your kid was born in the was uh, in the, in your stomach see the activities the mother did see the activity the father did where all you drive you took the kid where are you know what all you did you know so the vata thing increases so for example as i told you the vata increases as a function of altitude so if you're staying in a uh, so here see if you look at uh, i am in the second floor right now but if you look at many hotels i usually even in hotels i would go for maybe first or say, maybe second floor probably because first floor is little uh, kind of uh, not very clean but otherwise the mostly if you go like going to the top floor it's going to be a problem for you you know the the more higher you are you say for example you are living in a in a apartment and it is the you know uh, with a with a kid or you're you were uh, giving birth to a baby in, a, in an apartment which is very high raised your vata component will be high you know and similarly you are traveling you did a lot of air travel when you are in a pregnant what happens your vata increased substantial so so if you are taking a kid to a higher altitude right in terms of you know like i mean definitely there are places there are uh, nice places i'm not talking about from sea level altitude so suppose you're going to a, a place like from a lower area to a higher i'm not talking that way but i'm talking from the ground when you're going you know i about that kind of component will increase the vata so the disorder you can relate and see now how that a disorder could uh, be you know in what is this psychology what is happening when the kids get lost they are in their own world so that means it is like a air getting lost in a in a desert and then the air will try to reform it and then it will come back but you know air is is scattered it can scatter and come back and sometimes when the fire increases they feel you know some kids are doing very smart they'll be it doesn't mean that i uh, have um what is take for you know kid having this kind of problem uh may not be smart they could be very very smart kids they may get very good scores uh they may be doing very good in some projects or they may be doing very good in school uh or a certain things they will be able to do very well some programming some thing some kind of thing understanding they will have their own way of understanding things but beyond that we see something is missing why is this kind something is missing right that missing component that is the loss that we are talking about so the um 
so what to, the natural thing is to for example a food wise you have to go give the opposite kind for this kind of disorder okay so for example how do we they categorize in ancient science they categorize the food uh, two way um one is through the gravity and another is through the taste so how is gravity influencing so this is the whole paper of gravity so if you look at our our body since our body is made up of five elements the we have like the uh, earth component water component all these things arranged in a uh, you know what do you call specific gravity according to the specific gravity descending order or ascending order of specific gravity that means specific gravity as you go down you have a lot of you know it's very grounded very high density and um, and as you go you know little upper upper the density is lower so that means there is a center for this so for our body they have uh, talked about the centers for earth there is a center like how in modern science they have a center for uh, lung um, you know air is lung blood for thing like that in our ancient science we have not just blood kind of thing for example in a water component they have a for all the liquids there is a center so liquid center so mula this is these all are called chakras so mula dara swadhisthana manipuraga anagala visuti agana like this they have mentioned in terms of ancient some language they need to see that you know they cannot everybody speak english and everybody wanted to become you know one kind of culture nature didn't do that so naturally they they use whatever language those days they spoke you know so the earth component water component were called in that language but they are you if you don't even want to call that that is absolutely fine these are all centers and each center is arranged according to the um what you call the uh specific gravity okay so the the earth component is very hard the mola dara swadhisthana component this is the fire component is the so the earth is in the tip of the tailbone and after that you know in between the navi that the the navel point and in the, the earth component we have a water component and then this is the sternum component the air and the akash is this this component in the and then this is the sixth transformation the five transformation actually this i put uh, six is little at the top of the head actually this should be five year so the five transformations for the five transformations we have a center here as called the third eye okay so the so these all are they all are very uh, scientific things okay so they are arranged according to the gravity so the the uh, and that means according to our body you know like even the plants and everything they all are um having that kind of a, a component whether they are vata type uh, pitta type kapha type according some plants for example depending on the vegetable how they grow they can identify which say vata type pitta type or kapha type say for example things that are growing against gravity what are the things so you have like say uh, okra is going up upward say cauliflower going up for broccoli going upward uh, greens all the greens they going upward okay so that grows upward they um they are more of the air component whereas that is growing towards gravity like say example tomatoes 
grapes. These all are growing downward. So coconut, you know, all the avocados. So they all are heavy growing towards the earth, you know. So that is called the, so more kind of, you know, the kava component might be there. This is one of the categories, not necessarily everybody, everything will be categorized this way. Which cannot be categorized, we categorize according to the um, taste. <laughs> Next level. Okay, and then there are components like, uh, like Wallare, the leaf, if you look at, you know, it will go this way. Or there are components like the ginger or, you know, turmeric, you know, all these things, they grow this way, horizontal growth. It's not where they grow. It's not about whether they grow in the land or top or wherever it is. It's in how they grow. This way, this way or this way, three ways. Accordingly, they will have, you can categorize the three types. Vata type, pitta type, kava type of food. Okay. So if you look at uh, which type they grow, depending on, you know, if the grains are growing higher. So not necessarily that you should avoid everything. We have to balance, I will tell you how to balance this because there are other, not only the, the, the problem of the Vata Pitta Kapha, but there are other components that will help. They have a medical property also. Even though ginger is Pitta, uh, ginger is good for Pitta also for, because it has balancing property. Okay. So, um, there are certain things that we have to, there are very deep understanding we need. We cannot just go and categorize everything just like that. There is a little, yes, component. So here, um, I can uh, send something for people, you know, disorder things and all. There is a way, um, you know, we can identify body type and all those things. But that's on a very later stage of things when you really want to do seriously work on this. Okay, now I'm giving information, this information, basic information. So whatever, you're only now understanding very, very basic of these things. So right away, you cannot decide on something. Your brain is very, very uh, immature now when it comes to this knowledge. But the previous knowledge I came, like elimination diet is very easy. But this one, you need a little deeper understanding, okay? So you cannot take it on top and then just practice just like that. But I will give you an outline of things where you can use this is the food, this is the kind of food, you know, you can use. So accordingly, uh, we also have, so one of the way is identifying through the air, the gravity. And another way is using the taste, taste parameter, okay? So using taste, if this is, it doesn't work, the gravity may not work every time. So then more accurate thing we'll do is a taste parameter. Actually, one of the, you know, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, we'll be presenting something here in, in California on the taste we'll do. We've done research on taste parameter. Okay, so that may be, actually, I may have it here somewhere. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is some of the, you know, research on effect of taste. So how taste will impact our, our brain and, you know, how, what are the things. So there are, uh, you know, different components of our brain. So each part of the brain, the brain is like a, nothing but like a, you know, cathode ray tube, cathode ray tube. Its purpose is like to only reflect and show. Brain is actually not doing everything. So order problem is not in brain. Brain, some, Cases brain, if you damage your brain or something, that's a different story physically. 
but otherwise brain has nothing to do with this autistic thing it is a psychology the brain the mind uses the brain that's all so in this western way of looking at this the physical body is everything it's a very loose uh, science it's not uh, you know uh, they are not looking at a software a hardware is doing everything that means yeah, they are associating what is the problem with a, your TV? So we'll say you have a TV or a computer. So the problem, say you have a software problem in your computer. Okay. Software is a soft component. You cannot touch it, but it is still there. So now you are telling, no, 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 there is no software. The software is not a problem. You fix the key here, then everything will be fine. Because the software is the, uh, say you have wanted to do the, the the brightness is gone so they're saying okay you remove the motherboard and uh, do something to the motherboard the brightness will come up so that is a very wrong way of looking at this okay a software need to be dealt only in a software way it's a soft component there are inputs we have to only change the software not the hardware so like that in our body there are components is a hardware there and this is software so here the artistic thing or the component that we are talking about the problem has to do with the software part of it it is not the physical body oh i am going to do change the physical body you do this that that's not going to help okay so you have to so here the brain is only a just another uh, organ that's all it will use brain is used for projecting the software and giving us the visuals the visual of taste smell touch video audio um, you know taste smell and touch these are the five things that the brain will project and show us on the screen which is on top so they all are software only the software only it uses the software it uses the project like how we are having a um you know image projected on a screen the screen is the space above us and that's how the brain functions so here depending on the taste uh, of you know whatever taste it will have an impact on the so on the particular part of the brain so the brain uh, uses the six tastes it can sense the nodes are connected to this part of the body and based on the kind of taste the sense here it will have an impact on the body okay the food will have an impact on the whole psychology not only the so it will affect the physical as on the you know the software and in return it can affect the hardware okay but here we are talking about the effect of this, this uh, you know, different taste on this. So that is the uh, thing. So this is the research done. So today we have more research. This is a world one. So we went to deeper, deeper and deeper. So this, this is the component from our way. We contribute to say scientist aware of why our way is important. Okay. So the, uh we used to find the because see one of the thing is um so this is the part here you know the taste i'm showing the yellow part here it is for the taste okay and within the taste there are regions sub regions for six kind of tastes okay so the the moment we will do one experiment okay i don't know if you have time we'll take a break and do the experiment can we do a uh, experiment right now how many of you are ready for an experiment on mm, taste so i want you all to understand parents to understand what really taste is and how is this going to impact us and how the uh, this is going to help you 
okay this is it. so how this is going to help you for your kid or you for doing this why this is important why the taste will affect the body just a taste whatever taste you're tasting is going to affect the body and mind how is that possible even even without you swallowing this so i will give you things where if that is the case that is the proof then you can do certain thing with your kid by only let them lick this and they will change their brain okay so i will give you things that you can use to cure a child through taste without even they taking things inside so this is how it will help okay so if you're ready i need these things so i'll give you a short break maybe so what you can do maybe most of you have apples right not that apple is a recommended fruit but people are mostly using things that are commonly found apples and uh, you know oranges all these things so for me it's a, it's a you know nature doesn't have problem but because of the human interference all these fruits like normally available fruits are not good for health anyway so you use apples because you have and most of you will have also have carrots it's another thing you know most english vegetables i will have but um you can use that make small pieces maybe you take two things carrots apples small pieces if you want to take something like a if you don't have nut allergies you can use like a walnut or some other nut like um almond or something like that take a different thing like a fig something very different in taste take three things okay so i need small components so that you take one piece at a time and we'll do some experiment okay so now we will see for you to make you understand what taste means that's number one so if you have a pa paper and pen you can bring a paper and pen so you can draw lines it's called energy level diagrams i'll show you how to do and um, you can you know start uh, working on so we'll have a small workshop right now okay so why don't you uh, bring that then you will have a very good idea about what taste means number one and why should we do the particular way of eating and how this will impact the person's health and what you did if you are a fast eater what happened fastness speed fast food speed food okay this is the disaster the quicker you eat the quicker the food is made all these things will impact and that is the result of what we call this disorder what the disorder so to come out of this i will give you a technique okay so you go go grab these things make small pieces take your time relax 5 minutes i'll give you uh, a break probably it's not a break but don't delay i think uh, you know so the time is now um pacific time in pacific time 5:48 so 53 that is your 553 so i will so your time is what it is 8 uh, 758 pray 678 8 for 848 right yeah yes yeah uh, so 853 will be back okay bring this is going to be very useful okay i'll be hiding hibernating for small meditation some in time you have any question if you don't have apples fine you can bring onions onions everybody uh, at least uh, indian houses will have onions so cut into small pieces onions are fine 
you know at least maybe 10 pieces small pieces take it and come and i want a paper and pen from you you can have any things if you uh, i mean if you don't have carrots if you have beets you can have uh, you know something raw that you can eat it's absolutely fine even coriander or anything so i want most of you to do the same thing at least have one thing so that then you can even in apples and all there are varieties even within a bag, there could be change, but commonly there are certain tastes that will predominate in a particular type of food. Okay, so if you don't have, you can bring something else. Yeah, carrot is carrot, so there is no alternative actually. It is carrot because of the nature of the taste. Okay, so your time is over. Are you all back? Can you raise your hands if you're back? If you're not back, obviously you won't be able to raise. So are you guys back? Okay, definitely. So, so what that has to do with the speed? The quicker you do, it's good. <laughs> okay. But some people will take their own time. Okay. That could be the disorder. 
so so you have to have like balance that's what too slow too fast and it's also relative as you know you know some everything if it is too slow that is also a problem but balancing is what a is balancing the disorder okay but here we we going to do something mindful exercise if you have uh, apples can you okay where are the others is still cutting if i give 10 minutes then you will take 20 minutes so that's why you know we have to keep our indian standard time very important Mm. Okay. Okay, shall we go to the subject again? Okay, so I'm thinking, you know, we should uh, start here. Share. So give me a second. I'll be sharing. Okay, so now let's do some, some things. So now you can let's take pick the uh, one of the things. So let us pick apples first. Okay. So I want everyone to draw like a line like this lines. Draw 10 lines on a paper like this. One, two, three, four, five. You can draw 10 lines. Okay. 10 lines like this. Okay. So you already might have some notebooks may have the lines already, you know, drawn top. Otherwise, you know. Draw some rough. For now, roughly you draw. You don't have to be like very. If you want to do using ruler or fine. The pencil you can mark. You, you can have color pencil if you want. You can have you know sketch or anything. You know different colors also is good actually. You have different colors, so each uh, thing will give a color. Now you can draw a line. Say for example, what it means here um say the um 
if you are taking say for example the six taste so you are biting and chewing okay slowly apple and see what all taste you get say for example i'll give you the different taste sweet everybody knows what's a sweet and everybody knows what is salt salty taste then most of you know what spicy is and most of you know what is sour is and then most of you know what is a bitter you know bitter like karela kind of thing bitterness and the other thing that the people know less is the astringent taste astringent has to do with the say for example your unripened banana you know you're tasting walakai you know like the walakai walakai we call it you know walakai is uh, plantains if you eat like the rawness you know how you taste or the effect of um, even apple as that astringent taste we have carrots after you first it will be sweet but the end you will get one taste okay like this you have to write down from a scale of 10 1 to 0 so start at the low zero line from there you can go 1 2 3 4 right maybe you write draw draw 11 lines not 10 11 lines first one is zero zero is nothing okay and you go to level 1 e1 and 11 1 say one level out of 10 you wanted to scale this how much do you find sweet oh sweet is like um, nine it looks like a nine out of ten you can draw a line all the way up to nine uh, now we are saying well how much of bitter you have in your onions eh, onions doesn't have that much bitter maybe one or maybe zero i don't know okay maybe like that like that you put so you have to do the trials three times you can chew and do each thing three, three times and you mark down there maybe different sketches different pen you can use if you don't have you can mark down this this is for taste three trials for you do three three trials for each taste okay and then you fill everything can you do this okay so any questions on this you can unmute and ask questions if you want how to do this are you clear everybody clear about this can you all raise your hands if you're clear about this i don't know if everybody is listening to this is everybody listening to this or no or you just wanted to be here so yes. wanted to be here physically is the kind of disorder that we are looking at so you wanted to be physically here mentally somewhere is the disorder that we are talking about so parents when you have this kind of problems um it's not going to help how will you solve your kids problem okay so i want all of you to be here and raise your hands if you are here with me right now are you with me raise your hands i'm talking about mentally mentally number one not just physically how many are you, of you are with me How many of you are partially with me? Okay, all uh, raise your, drop your, drop your hands. How many of you are partially with me? Like you have some other duties, but you're just uh, listening to this. You have something else taking care. So, but since you have to attend this, you're in your friend's place or somewhere, we cannot. So partially we have two people. Is that right? so you're not participating in this experiment okay that's fine maybe a uh, driving or doing something but you may be listening right 
Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to ask people who are not here at all because obviously they're not here. Even they're not listening to me right now. Okay. So you're, so that's, this is very important. Now you have to taste this and draw, start drawing lines. All the six days, see what taste is missing. Okay, this is a diagnostic tool also. There are a lot of things in this. But what happens, you see, you do this, everybody, are you doing with the apples? First we do with the apples, please. What are the tastes in apple do we have? Do you have, look for one taste, categorize like each taste you want, you, you want the taste parameter. So I will show you. Don't know what this taste is. So like draw like astringent, pungent, bitter, sweet, sour, and give it a scale. You know how much salt it is. Out of 10, it is, Really, there is no salt in apple. Okay, it is going from A to maybe less than zero, no, or zero, it doesn't matter. Where you want, it's up to you, how you sense. No, I feel there is a slight salty. That's your body. Your body is able to sense the salt in apple. Yes, that's your body. It's your own mind. It's your own way of, uh, you know, of looking at it absolutely fine you are not somebody else you are you okay that's what we want okay so do this experiment and once you fill you will take the next one here itself i will tell you three trials i'm telling close nearly take two three trials and put it near so we'll have to average out trial second time you eat and again do the same thing Three times you eat the same thing and put the lines nearby. Then you can mark down which taste it is. Like this, if you do, it's very easy for you. The lines, you just put a line this way. You don't have to redo this, put a column line. So you know this is this. Okay, how many of you are done with this? So, right. So, can we go for the second one? Can you do with the second part? Can you take another uh, one, carrots? If you don't have carrots, you can do something else. Onions. So, let's do carrots. If you have carrots, you can take. Otherwise, onions, that's fine. You do the same thing very mindfully slowly close your eyes focus only focus on the taste each time okay mindfully chew look at what all the taste which one is dominating check one by one what taste it has take more than one that's fine two determine you know first time if you cannot determine that's fine second time you see try see what taste do we have right for example an onion can have spice it has a sour taste it is having sweet it is a part of this you know everything will have Almost six days. One will dominate. Few things will dominate. Most of them will have the six days, but the dominance will be on two or three types of days. You're done. 
drop your hands and freshly raise your hands now. <coughs> if you're done with two, part two. Hmm. Now, can we do part three? Drop your hands. Again, say, can we do part three? Part three will be some other, take something unique, I told you, some nut or <coughs> something very different taste. Not normally like a jackfruit or you know, fig. Anything that's uh, not normally used. <coughs> Excuse me. So these are called energy level diagrams, okay, or taste spectroscopy. Taste spectroscopy, you can do a lot of analysis on that. What I want you to do after doing this, I want all of you to draw this very formally. You can make a PowerPoint or whatever, you know, way you want to draw, whatever tool you're using. Or you can draw neatly on a paper and uh, send it to me. You can share in the group, <coughs> each one. Okay. Share in the group, put your name, each name. So here, you can even give this to your kid and see if they can really uh, do this. If they are able to taste, tell them how to taste this. And if they are not able to taste, you know what is the taste and this is going to help them because I will tell you this is the taste and you give this particular taste for that your kid. They don't even have to eat it. They just have to lick the taste and because of that, it will have an impact. So that's what I want to make you understand that food not even going inside can also affect your body. So because this happens through transformation, the moment it touches the tongue, it will um, make an impact on the whole body. This doesn't go through the taste buds and things like that. You know, like, uh, you know, as uh, I mean, of course, it goes through taste buds, but not through going inside your, you know, the uh, GI tract. Without even going inside the GA track, just touching on your tongue, it will have an impact on the whole body health. So using this component, how we can really deal, deal with a kid having this kind of a problem or a parent. That's where I'm coming. Okay. So, um, let me know when you're done. Is everybody ready? So now I'll give you one experiment and we'll do after that. Okay. So what you have to do, see your tongue, just raise your tongue, let's say, la, la. okay, not fully, you can just say la, like there are three laws, you know, this is called the art kuti lagaram, which is uh, which is a law that goes and uh, um, goes the fr front front uh, palate, you know, close to the teeth, not the that law, the sirappulagaram. We are not talking about the sirappulagaram. There are three laws in Tamil, so the law will be just la when you say la, touch the fr front part of the palate. So like that, you keep your tongue raised now close your eyes and we're going to focus on the tongue
Now rub your hands. Do light palming. Now again, you repeat the experiment now. Just the three experiments. Now we can do really quick. You can taste because you become. Let's see how, how you can do it. Three experiments, just repeat that. Just repeat all the three experiments, draw another set of diagrams or if you have space nearby, use a different, you know, color pencil or something, draw, do the same thing. But just you put before and after, you know, after this small exercises of focusing on your tongue, you're doing or two. Yeah, focus on the tip only. Just if you lift your uh, tongue, automatically your focus will be there. Don't even have to focus. You're done with this? Okay. Now, all the pictures, did you find any difference between before and after? How many of you find there's some difference or significant difference? You find, did any number change? Particular, did particular numbers change or any number change? You can type down. Can you use the chat button to type down? If you haven't done this experiment right now, you can do it later and see. And this will be not just one day. You have to do this experiment all week. Everything that you eat at home. Now you have to do this experiment for a whole week. Okay, because Next week, you're going to show you'll have a huge number of data, you know. You'll be showing like this is what happened, all those things. You can, every day you should do this. So, I will tell you how this will be very useful. Solving your own problem also. <laughs> we can find a lot of things about you using this spectrum. The spectroscopy, um, the energy level diagrams, we can find out what problems you have, underlying problems, 
and how this is affected if a mother and father are doing this we'll see what are the missing components and we can come up with a diagnostic uh, it's a diagnostic tool I come up with a whole um, you know diagnosis for your your problem and um, you can use this as, as a solution to the problem that you have the same thing is a solution also how the whole diagnostic tool as well as a solution okay like um, urine diagnosis there is a method where you can find uh, you know there is a which we will do later now okay so i um, so you wanted to stop here so can you share everybody share this information the chat okay so i don't see any information are you are you done guys everybody done did he do the experiment repeat the experiment or no hello can you unmute any of you unmute want to unmute this and share experiences okay so second time this taste is less intense any particular taste very less okay so here is what i will tell you number one sweet okay sweet onions become more sour and bitter carrots become less tasty second time okay good so what i want you to understand is what have i done with you so far you have been eating very fast i did a lot of things with you right now today so today how you eat that is the way you should eat your normal food okay why because you are not taking the taste component of it and enjoying it which will have an impact on your health you're just swallowing so therefore you're losing that so you doing this is going to be helpful your mindfulness will increase and your eating mindfulness eating is the main component if you are not eating mindfully you have a water disorder impact will have an impact your body haste quick eating without uh, you know tasting it is going to give a problem now the second thing that we have a solution is that independent of the food going inside this taste has an impact understanding this will help you if you know what this taste is then only you can identify and give it to your kid who may not be able to sense all the time and some of the kids are smart even they have this problem they may be able to even taste some things okay so you can teach them what tastes like for example with comparison okay this is onion means these are the taste tell them this is sweet this is you know astringent all those things these are high intelligence this is a very very intellectual thing that we are doing okay you may be probably doing the first time in this planet this kind of experiment okay if you unless chat gpt takes this off any ai will take this and uh, you know if it is doing it properly i'm okay to give this but uh, you know people if they don't know how this so this is the most authentic knowledge you are getting right now this is the source that what we did now okay the first source of information well so what um you wanted to do is a mindfulness eating and then 
you have to use this as a diagnostic tool. I will tell you what taste next time. A vata. I'll, uh, once you get all everybody right now, and then the first 15 minutes I'll spend with you on how do you use this problem to solve the problem, and then we'll go to another chapter. So this is what and how it's going to affect the psychology and many things. If you're sharing more on the the group then possibly you know just i can answer something you know i will give you more okay so if you don't want to share in the group if you want to email me that's also fine you can email me if you don't want to openly share something or not it's fine but these are common things you don't have to worry about you know things uh i think wrong but if you privately want, you can do info at veta.org. You can or s.lakshmanan at veta.org. You can email me also. It's fine. Okay. So thank you. So we'll uh, end here, I think. So hope uh, this session, um, it's, a, it's a huge topic, you know. And I just wanted to give you a small part of the things as I told you. and. Um, this is very important because taste ways if you know only what taste is then only when we categorize food i will tell you what food um you know you have to take then you go by taste and tell oh okay that's how we should go not by okay, going to the food that this is vata food pitta food it's like the taste that gives will determine that time okay so here is the uh, form uh you know chat or whatsapp form that uh you know if you want to join the, the group you can join the link sent by Shumayandra. okay okay so shall we conclude today so yeah so today you learned mindfulness learning taste parameter you learn psychology of basic psychology of this and we know that this is a water disorder i told you altitude is a problem like that you know food eating certain type of food uh, with a particular taste will create a disorder i will explain a little bit more on that and then we'll go to a little bit deeper of now you will understand what is grounding mean what is uh, air means you know so uh, I will do more grounding components, what kind of not only food, then what are the exercises that we have to do, what are the things that activity we have to do to be grounded, not, uh, you know, uh, with water disorder, all these things we can talk. Okay. So thank you. And uh, uh, I just wanted to, I think, uh, he also left, I think. All right, so we'll see see you all next week. Okay. Take care. All right, thank you. Please share the information on the group. Thank you.